G'day YouTube, this video is on a great video editor for Ubuntu. Now, with this one, it's called OpenShot. So, to install, the best way to do it is to type in, open up a terminal and type in sudo apt-get install OpenShot, throw in your password. Mine's already installed, so that's okay. So, after it is installed, go to the Applications menu and uh, open up OpenShot Video Editor. Now, this is what it is, and I'll just quickly run through a couple of the features and things. Um, when you've first got a new project set up, you want to import files such as MP3s or video files. So click on the plus button there. I'll throw in a video file for now. Now, once you have imported video or MP3 files, you need to drag it down to the timeline. Now, this is where it gets interesting because with the timeline, uh, there's a lot of features and customizations you can do here. Just right click on the video file there and for example, duplicate to make it uh, double the size. Uh, you can uh, fade in and fade out, which is sort of like a transition effect. Um, you can animate how the video props up onto the screen. Another type of transition effect but throughout the video. Uh, rotate the video, of course. Uh, layout, so you can actually say you're on a webcam, for example. You can uh, just place your the video of you talking on the top left or top right hand side and uh, leave space for other things. And that just goes on and on. Now, regular transition effects for the start of a video, for example, if you want um, to come in, uh, here we go, clock left to right. So I'll just throw this transition at the start, then I'll press play, see how that looks. Yeah, so clock left to right, a transition effect of um, really starting the video there. Now, uh, effects is another thing that uh, there is. Charcoal, for example, what you have to do is just grab it, drag it, and put it there. I'll just remove this transition for a second, and then I'll start from the beginning. There we go, so that's charcoal all of a sudden. There's a great deal of uh, options there as well, including distort. There we go. So I've got two uh, effects on there right now, charcoal and distort. And you can put really as many as you want, of course. Invert primary colors. Wow, look at that one. Okay, I'm, okay I digress now. Um, now, once that's done, another really cool feature that's fairly new to OpenShot is adding an, a title to the beginning of the video or an animated title. So, for example, you click on the title, new animated title, then you go to uh, select which template you would like. Let's just choose a basic one here. Give it a name, a file name, then give it an actual name, such as Family Holidays 2012. Get rid of the other ones, and render. And as you can see, it's rendering currently on fourth frame of 300 frames. And uh, it might ask you to install Blender, a program called Blender. Um, it will tell you how to install it when uh, if you do not have it. But um, if you if you do have it, then it won't be a problem. It's actually just using a plugin called Blender in order to actually render the uh, the template really, and therefore the animated title screen. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there's a lot of messing around you can do with it. I was even doing a little bit of messing around in the video. I just kind of uh, I don't know, <laughs> wasting time there, but um, that's pretty much it, guys. And Open Shots, uh, it gets better and better all the time. It's been around since uh, just the last two or three years, I think. And uh, I've been using Linux before Open Shot was out, and I always needed a video editor, so I was really happy when this one came along. And it's uh, it's making good strides, and it's just as I said, getting better all the time. I'll just cancel that rendering. And that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoy the, the software.